Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Reduce your ping time and get faster speeds when you game at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. All right, we're going. Welcome to the Funhouse podcast. It's the fastest in the West. It's the most rooting. It's the most tooting. And I am, of course, your temporary lead today, Charlotte McGrath. And I'm joined by... I'm here, Lindsay. My name is Lindsay. I'm sitting on this side so that we are... Talk to the microphone. Gracious host. I'm talking. <laughs> Our gracious host can have the seat all to herself. And to my left. It is I, Jacob Fullerton. I'm sitting where I always do. But we finally got rid of Mondo, huh? Yeah, we'll spend today eulogizing our, our great friend, our tall cast member, and uh, podcast guru Mondo. He's still alive, but I think everyone can use a little eulogizing every now and then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in the words of the great Someone, uh, the show must go on and legs must be broken. I think it's Reagan. I think that was Nancy. You're right. Yeah. Any, <laughs> anyway, much to talk about today, but I wanted to I wanted to start off and ask, how are you guys doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah. Yeah. You Just had a chicken sandwich. Yes. I also had a chicken I've heard. sandwich. Some diet Pepsi. Okay. Drinking <laughs> some. Soda it's just water. so quickly turned into a rundown of what you're drinking. <laughs> what have you put into your body in the How last are you doing lately? Oh, well, uh, I have water. I have ice water. Coffee, water, bubbly water, orange juice, okay. yeah. champagne. There was okay. a tequila shot in there somewhere. Yeah. Maybe last night. All right. And Jacob, what have you been drinking? Oh, let me tell you. Um, I, I stayed away too late last night. I was supposed to be talking about liquids, but no, I'm just tired. I sit up till 2 a.m. building a kitchen island. In real life. In not real in life. A video game. Not in a video game. Yeah, I stayed up late doing something real. Wow, look at you. And that's this, adults. This handyman. Jacob's around here. Just I know. Fixed. He's got a tool belt and his crack is just showing. There was a point where there was like a part of a leg that was like bent. So there was a point where I was just sitting there just like hitting it with a hammer and I felt like a gorilla. What are we talking? Is this Wayfair? Is this. Yeah. Is this an IKEA? Now, th- I think it's just like a Home Depot thing. Home Depot this is straight thing. out okay. Home Depot. This can be kind of tough. Yeah, the box showed up, looked like like wolves had attacked it. There was like holes ripped in. It was open. Like it was just <laughs> completely <laughs> insanity. <laughs> when I was visiting my mom, she had gotten a new bed frame because apparently the most popular bed frame in the mid to late 90s was this, or early 90s was this one that they've had since they got married. And all their friends have this like a four poster like poles at every corner of the bed and it's very stately. It's like a piece. When did your parents get married? Uh, 1990. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Sorry. I think, yeah. yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Oh. For what it's worth. Oh, little. Oh, for a lorry, do you kiss the bride? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, she had to get a new one because it was that one, that motherfucker was so high off the ground and so she asked me to help her put it together and I was From talking where? about how hard it was getting to screw in one of these things at the headboard. And then when I lifted up, I saw that I had gone clean through the side of it and had ruined the bed. <laughs> the bed. Oh, no. So really? I had to tell my poor mother, I'm like, hey, so I uh, broke it really bad, actually. And so now I have to go and take that apart and put together the old one. So, and then I left two days later back for LA. So <laughs> just this horrible, horrible daughter that just can't be trusted. You left your mark on your family. I left. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Every squeak they hear. That's Mark McGrath, dead. Sugar Ray. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the podcast officially has beef. We have beef? We have beef with, with Gabe Newell. Wagyu? Oh. We have beef with Steam. We have beef oh. with Valve for announcing huge news after we recorded last week. Yeah, That's how it goes. literally the day that the, our podcast came out later right. that day. So we're going to talk about it. Now. now and then now. when this comes out surely some new groundbreaking peripheral that's never been Maybe the likes so. of which have never been seen before not by Nintendo yeah. or the PSP or mm-hmm. any number of handhelds There's something all new will be announced on Thursday so do need to yeah. hear us talk about that yeah. next Nintendo's week. actually going to announce that 4K switch yeah this, it's going to be like 4K late, but uh, later this afternoon actually they'll do the 4K switch but Pro. it's not OLED like yeah. they can only take two steps forward but in different directions yeah. so they end up <laughs> doing the splits what's up with the like random announcements like in July of like they announced the switch thing and then like two weeks later they're like then the piece then Steam's like we, Valve's like we got this portable PC but like maybe they thought it was going to be like last year when E3 lasted for seven months. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, like remember they were like, 
what are Snow E3? What are we going to do? And everyone's like, announcements all the yeah, time. Forever. Let me tell you, working on a, a daily gaming news show, we had we ate well in 2020. Did you Shoo. pre-order Bless you. Thank you. the Steam Deck? Bless you. Uh, Bless you. No, I, first of all, it seemed like pre-orders were a mess with a lot of the same things I that people ran into with the, about pro- yeah, with the PS5. Thing. Really? Yeah, a lot of like, Web page is not loading correctly. People putting put in queues, I think, yeah. and and it was different in that you didn't have to pre-order it. You could put a five dollar pre-order down. Yeah, yeah and that's what you're referring to, right? It's the five dollar thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I saw everyone posting about it. I wasn't totally clear on how it was all working out, but it's it's like it's like a much more approachable pre-order, and you yeah. have to wonder if that means that a lot of stock is going to be freed up by people who don't actually go ahead and buy it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was so. kind of I was kind of surprised because like I went ahead and did it. I don't you know. Did? I feel like I'm not 100% on it yet, so, but I threw $5 Jacob's in. On it's five list. bucks, yeah. Yeah. It's, so like, it's five bucks. But I remember seeing lots of people saying they were struggling with it. And I, I was able to just do it. Where are you going like to take that? That This is my question. Here. He's going to bring it here. Yeah. There's computers on the here. Box. He's going to play it on the on the podcast. Exactly. We're never going to hear from him again. We'll like, see him all the time. Yeah. I just don't understand the point of it. I, I think it's the fact that it, so you can get a dock for it. Sold separately, and it's actually not that expensive. It's what four hundred. But the, mm-hmm. the controllers like don't come off. So then, how do you play it? Uh, you can probably. It's probably like I have like an Nvidia Shield thing with my mm-hmm. TV, and you can just sync a Bluetooth controller to it, so it has Xbox and and PS4 controller support. So, assuming you have any of those around, you could just sync it uh, via Bluetooth because it doesn't need like an extra dongle. I don't think. Okay, I, I didn't know. There was I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I know it docks. Uh, and it connects to an external dip- uh, display. Steam so deck. They don't. Docks. They don't say any. The Steam Dock decks. <laughs> Durr. I also keep calling on... it a Stream Deck. Yeah. Like they, they every time I talk so about close. this thing, I call it a Stream Deck. And what's more, there was Stream Deck announcements last week as <laughs> yeah. well. Yeah. It's just too much, you know. It's you just know, too much. For me, tech. I'm just like I play my PC games because I like the keyboard and mouse and like the power behind my PC. You can use a keyboard and mouse with the Steam Deck. What are you gonna take? You gonna be sitting on the airplane and prop it up and then like whip out <laughs> your keyboard you and mouse? Like that's you get in your mom's Chrysler Town and Country, where the middle seats in the minivan spin around and a little table comes up. You put your Steam Deck down and take out your full RGB keyboard and mouse setup. <laughs> And you are just gaming in the back seat. You get one of those keyboards that like it's just it's floppy. You just unroll oh, it onto like, your lap. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unroll. Those are always so cool looking yeah. until you think about using one and uh-huh. it seems just awful. And then you just mush it around when you yeah. do it. It's like it's jello. Mold. Maybe you can find a picture of this, but there was an NVIDIA Shield device that was like a controller and a, it had a screen on the top. Yeah. And it flipped it open. Of, yeah. Oh, yes. It. Do you know what I'm talking about? You sort picture, of. It's kind of a form it, factor what like the Xbox uh, like with the X phone. Cloud yeah. stuff with the phone. Which the thing is like I thought about do I want this Steam Deck? Yeah, because it's stuff. Yeah. And I love stuff. Oh, I, I hate can. stuff. I, I don't love want stuff. gear. I hate having stuff. I don't like want when it. I go into my room and I take stock of my life and I'm like, there's my VR headset, my <laughs> PS5, and my bass guitar, and my keyboard and all my other bullshit mm-hmm. and like all this stuff I didn't need that I don't use enough to justify. But when it comes to the actually buying, like wanting stuff, yes, I want more and mm-hmm. I always want more. Uh, this... And will I sell it ever? No. Well, it's one of those tiered things, right? Cause there's like the base one, but then there's ones with more memory and stuff, Maybe right? Yeah, I think it's, portable. and I think it comes with 16 gigs of RAM. So we can oh yeah, that, what's it called? Just this NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shield, Shield portable. portable. But maybe people know it. I'm talking about. So yeah, there's a tried and true tradition of goofy, like this feels like something in Game Informer in 2007 that mm-hmm. you would see. Like the all new, like mm-hmm. screen flips out and like it's actually designed I in such this. a way. You had this? Yeah. NVIDIA Shield portable and I'm looking it up and I'm telling the dear audio listeners that I found a picture of it. Could you show us Omar on the screen? Yeah. Anyways, so it's just sort of like a thing where I'm like, why do people, you don't need this. You have a switch, and right, you there can it play is. a certain game. Like you're not going to play League of Legends on an airplane. I uh, yeah, because you need an internet. Connection, Actually, I right? think League of Legends. There's a short list of games that aren't compatible with the Steam Deck. I got it right that time. Like including Destiny Two. Unfortunately, for Destiny me. Two can't be run on. I it? think I think it's something they're working on. But games with certain like anti cheat, like aren't compatible because it's like Linux or something like that. Oh. So there's like I think League of Legends was also one of those games. I think like uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, 
Destiny 2. I can't remember the list. It's not very long, but there are a handful of and games. And can, can you only play Steam games? Yes, I think so. But I mean, I'm surely so people are going to find a way. It's a portable PC. So yeah. it's, it's, it's like the uh, Steam box in that it, uh, it runs Linux. A thing that people loved. I think that it's just like <laughs> Valve has such had had has had such an interesting journey through uh, through hardware. Yeah, because like the Steam Deck or not. That's what this is. I can't even remember <laughs> this. There's the Steam Box. <laughs> yeah. There's the Valve controller that they kind of rolled out with it. There's the Steam Link. I have a Steam Link. Does, yeah, they stopped selling those. Yeah. Uh, which I understand people actually like them a lot. That's yeah. basically what my Nvidia Shield TV does, which is why I don't need one of these. It seems like a really good price point, though, for someone to get into accessible PC gaming, because like PC gaming is, it's like oppositional. Like How it's, much it is, is this? hard to. I think it's. I think it retails for three ninety nine. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's for sixteen gigs of RAM, cloud saves, and they say a decent battery life. I don't know what that entails, but yeah, what does that probably mean? depends on. I the mean, game this thing too. is chunky. Like you can just see, it's just, it's a big boy, like. This is this is like a hefty guy. Yeah. Like it looks like it's got more weight. Like the Switch yeah. has body because the Joy Cons go back, but the screen on the Switch is pretty svelte. I don't know. I think it looks ugly. It's very <laughs> ugly. Yeah, I am curious about how the button placement will feel with like the buttons being like right next to the stick like that. Yeah, they have those pads that they did on the controller, which people also. Oh, the one with the yeah, the it, it, <laughs> the googly it, eyes. It was, it was shaped very strangely. Yeah, it had the it was all about haptic. Pads. It was like steel drums for your thumbs. Steel drums for your thumbs. Yeah, yeah we should get you in there talking about. Hire me, PlayStation. I got the goods. I don't know. You I just, have a job. I don't. Need, I don't need this. I don't play no, games don't portable, not. and yeah. I have no. a thing that streams games to my Switch, TV already. So. I could probably think of a few games I would totally play in bed. Yeah, I get why people would want this yeah. though, and I think for people who are looking for an in something that yeah. is relatively cheap, connects to an external, and you can take with you. Yeah, I mean that, like I, I love playing Switch games in my bed. I can't do it. This thing looks a little heavy though. The only thing I, I play drop is... my Switch in my face all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I fall asleep playing it. I drop it on my teeth. The only thing I've played on like my Switch really, and I play in bed or whatever was Animal Crossing, and I did play Z- like Zelda, yeah. Breath of the Wild. I love a good laying down Switch. But session. otherwise, like, no, I don't need that. Yeah, it's it's got a seven inch screen, 1200 by 800 pixel display, so 16 by 10. Oh, so oh. it'll wow. be a, it'll be a little uh, a little tall. It's gonna be like is Ooh. there like maybe like a thing that's always at the top or something? I would like hope a, not. Like a bar. I would hate like a a permanent display, like a or maybe bar. you can just like flick it up. It does make me wonder how playing games that aren't like. That, that oh. have like other launches stuff like thing like Red Dead. What does it say? Or, you can play the Epic Game Store on this. Oh, I did not realize. Damn. Well, that's kind of cool. That is actually, actually, I'm gonna buy it. No, I <laughs> yeah, because I was gonna say like games that you launch in Steam but then open <laughs> other launchers. You know. Yeah, like EA. Anything that opens Origin. Anything is that pops worse open that Origin thing. <laughs> yeah. Gabe that, Newell describes Steam Deck's price as painful for Valve. What? What's the problem, I don't know. Gabe? That's where it says. It says read more. Oh my god, Gabe, can you just relax? Well, that's the thing. Is like console hardware always gets like sold at a loss, right? Affordable for gamers, but painful for Valve. Anyways, they'll be fine. Yeah, what they're are you gonna be fine? What are they gonna do? They're gonna. They just. They're struggling for cash. They they're spent strapped. so much time gouging developers before Epic Game Store came along and made the developer split thirty to seventy. They send out this big. I think it was twelve percent. This big chunky device. Where's Portal Three? <laughs> I cannot. That's a good. That's a good question. Hey, you know, where's Half Life Three? Hey, where's Left for Dead? Steam Deck three. exclusive. All three of those. Oh, no. <laughs> Now's their chance, Gabe. Steam Deck I feel three. Like I've already Gabe. any of those. I feel like I've already seen one of these in a yard sale. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's like what is this? Like a Sega what box? Is, yeah. Sega box? Is this yeah. the Soldier Box? And so like, what? What is it about this that makes it so much more? Like well, I feel like I feel like people get have gotten excited about this. Yeah, um, people, people, people. The but like gaming why this, Twitter was a flame. Yeah, oh, yeah, why this and not like the past other five Valve things? Is it because it's Switch ish? Is it because well, it's like a Switch? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I bet there was also like a fervor around the other things before. But yeah, those things felt like they were geared towards making the experience more convenient for existing PC gamers, this mm-hmm. feels like something to bring people from console to PC. Yeah. 
Because mm -hmm. okay. like, I don't know. This this is a console. This is not a PC. Maybe right? I'll give it a shot. Can't we'll believe see. there's yeah. all these console gamers out here. Oh my god, these <laughs> fucking casuals. If there's something casuals. that I can play on PC over on my console, like 100%, I'm going to play every time. Ark in the bathroom with this. You can play Ark on the tablet, by the way. Oh, really? You know that? Yeah. No, never mind. Tablet. Probably sucks. Like, yeah, it I have an horrible. iPad. I can play it on my iPad. I mean, it's it's on Xbox, but I tried to play with someone on Xbox once. That sounds like a never let no, in. I would not play yeah, on... it. It doesn't work. To, we don't to say need to go down there. the Ark Okay, we don't need I to will... dunk on Ark because you can just go listen to last week's episode. <laughs> yeah. I will go hard on Ark. Hey, right. hey, hey oh, weekly three. Let's talk. The big three. Oops, yeah. The big three? Yeah. I'm just. There she yeah. Okay, got great. It. I didn't even whatever. Sorry, the the audio is all fucked up on the stream and I don't know what the fuck to do about it, so I just turned it off. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Well, we'll miss them. Uh anyway, let's talk the big three guns, weed, and gold. That's <gasps> right. Who's gold? Who? I feel like you're Are you just talking about this because there's like a the new Red Dead thing? Uh no, I'm talking no, about this because really. it was my birthday and nobody got me any of those. I no, I bought you a cocktail. You did buy me a cocktail. I was gonna bring you flowers, but I oh, forgot. I drank a lot of whiskey sours, and I <laughs> probably would have uh, used the flowers to blow my nose. Because I think the I did. At least use it would have been useful. I used a dirty leaf to blow my nose later the, in the night. That tequila shot hit me the hardest, so I want to be guns. Your guns? Yeah. Are you I'm weed gold. or gold? I'm gold. Oh, um, it's gold. So you're weed. I, it's too bad that Manda's not here. I know he would uh, absolutely. This be is weed. not loading. God but rest anyway, his soul. God rest uh, God I also soul. bring those up, not just because we're guns, gold, and weed, but because those are vaccine incentives in this wonderful country we call the United States of America. Oh, Wait, this country. What? I thought it was going to be like in other places, but no, all right, I'm no, in. No, no, no. There are uh, all kinds of incentives to get people to uh, get vaccinated. And, and you know, in the sticks, there's, a, there's some maybe more... Uh, uh, let me see, re regional incentives. <laughs> so guns, beer, trucks. I think West Virginia is offering a forever hunting and fishing license. What? If you go, it, it's a sweepstakes. So oh, okay. you don't you get, get a gun, gold, and weed. You get a, and, yeah, win. yeah, yeah. You get your, get your name entered into a lottery okay. drawing. And so there's a few, it seems like New Jersey is also adding in some stuff. If I look through here. Yeah, Amheuser-Busch. Uh, huge brewer. I think they're Budweiser. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they're uh, offering. Uh, where did that go? Well, the web page loaded differently. Anyway, they're offering a beer to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could offer beers to everybody. It's beer. Yeah. Or is it like get vaccinated and get a lifetime supply of beer? That would be sick. And I'm kind of frustrated that I didn't get that. I feel like sweepstakes is the way to go. Yeah. The chance it reaches. So then you only got to give it to one person. No, absolutely, yeah, and and then fortunately, maybe you get even just a smidge closer to herd immunity. Could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The dream. Oh my god. Hey, wear your masks, people. Unfortunately, I've I, got oh, mine in my pocket oh, here. Non-sponsored, non-spawn con. I just ordered a shitload from the Gap. They are on clearance. You can get a pack of three for ninety nine cents. Cloth mask. Damn. It has a little pocket for a filter. <laughs> I bought fifteen masks yesterday. I know we thought we were done, but but no, we're never done. No, anyway, done. Nope. we should also. I recommend you move to West Virginia, where you can be entered into winning the following prizes for getting a vaccine: one point five million dollars, five hundred eighty eight thousand dollars, full spo uh, sco uh, scholarships to higher education institutions in West Virginia. Dear oh, friend cool. of mine went to college get in West vaccinated, Virginia. You get get a, smart. You can get a nice education. Custom outfitted trucks. You gotta oh, cool. assume. You gotta assume those pickups are lifted. So this is all in West Virginia. Lifetime hunting and fishing. Yeah, licensed custom hunting They're rifles and shotguns. They probably just is really need people. Is the vaccination rate just like so? Like, is it abysmal or something? It can't be great if they're doing these. Although here's a really great. Also, just like no offense, anybody who lives in West Virginia. Okay. West Virginia sucks. Well, I'm glad you said that because the governor of West Virginia said, I can't stand for Ohio to get ahead of us on anything. <laughs> oh, wow. Is there a feud there? I didn't even realize. Apparently, and Lindsay stoked it first. I really did. Yeah. I mean, this was written however long ago. No, I just you should get friends government. who lived in West Virginia. Oh, New they're, Jersey. They're like, no, it sucks here. So. Well, I mean, John Denver liked it. He wrote that whole song That's about it. That's enough for me. Yeah. Mountain Mama. So wait, where do we get the gold for getting vaccines? 
<laughs> That's what I'm after. I don't know. Maybe he, maybe John Denver, Denver wouldn't like it in 2021. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You leave John Denver out of this. You Let brought him, him into in this. Peace. I'll always bring him into this. <laughs> John Denver and the Muppets. My, the greatest I'm special so ever squeaky. made. Oh, uh, Connecticut did a drinks on us program with people who had a proof of vaccine get it a free drink. Uh, New Jersey did shot in a beard. Nice little citywide action for people getting their first COVID-19 dose in May. It ended in May. Mm. They only did it for a month. Mm. I hope it was a good month. The thing. Where's my incentive besides, yeah. you know, social freedom and uh, your, so, your incentive is getting to uh, record a podcast with us in person. I guess that's true. That is true. It's that's, a great testament to this is what I get. Joints for jabs. Yeah. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. Joints for jabs. Oh, that's the weed. It's a testament to how how quickly principles can be sacrificed for some free stuff. Right. Guns, gold. It's oh, beautiful. Uh, Hong Kong, you can get gold. Hong Kong, you get gold? Vaccinated. Okay, yeah. cool. They're giving people like Gold bars. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> and oh wow. boy, That's I got amazing. to go back to work. <laughs> yeah, right. I got to see people. Yeah, I got to hang out with my friends and, and be you happy. Know what? I wouldn't trade it for the world. Nope. I got my first. I would shot. trade it for gold though. Where's your camera? I would trade. I would trade. I'll trade my friends for gold. You hear me? Hong Kong, I'm coming. Friends for gold. <laughs> Call this number and give us your oh, friends. One eight seven seven friends for gold. Friends for gold. <laughs> I got my first shot technically before the thing opened up to everybody, people my age. Mm, I did you got too. those inside got sources. Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel guilty? No, like, because it was only like a week and then two weeks after. And the reason I was able to do it is because people were they had it available. So yeah, that's what happened to me. One of our interns. So no, I didn't feel yeah, guilty. Yeah, that's what I did too. And I spe- especially now because. Anybody can get it, and you know, I know several people who don't have it. Yeah, this country straight up has too many vaccines, and nobody wants to get them. Yeah, it's it's kind of a tough situation, especially because uh, America made such a point to not give them to other countries at first. <laughs> um, yeah, but hey, you work with what you're given. Yeah, much yes. like some salmon in Germany, who in a video in 2020 were seen jumping, trying to jump out of a tank, and. Uh, erratic behavior, you could say. And, you know, salmon are always getting up to all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, salmon but cannon. This particular, the salmon, the salmon cannon, right, right, right. the never. Santa cannon. Yeah. <laughs> Meant to disarm and uh, to a permanent end, Santa Claus. No, this story is a bit of a spiritual follow-up to our meth poop fish story. The Why do the, I feel like we're always talking about fish on this podcast? Because we're, always we're, up to because no we're a coastal, tuna, we're a a coastal tuna, podcast. What's in the t- subway at Tuna? I wasn't here for that episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went to the aquarium was, that one so. time. And then the Manda's not here for trout, this one. It's one of you two. Now I've, I've had a lot of, I've touched lots of fish poop for for this channel. So Anyway, so there's salmon that, yeah. in Germany that were jumping up the side of a tank. Uh, reports came back that they may have been high on coke. Cool. How? <laughs> That's Why? a great question. <laughs> uh, because apparently... Uh, they don't know for sure yet, but poop coke? apparently <laughs> poop coke? Is there poop in this one? Apparently, like gangs dump stuff in the waters oh. around here. So maybe someone was trying to unload a few kilos a few and kilos. just dumped it into the waterway. Bricks. What's that? I said a few bricks. You know what? That's it's too bad that we have to live in this moment of the climate crisis. Because like, could you imagine just like the sweet innocence of being like, the water will take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just dump it in the water, and it's gone. Nature I mean, shall that's what we do this. with the toilet. Yeah, but the water takes it. Yeah, I know. So I'm saying. And it's gone. Yeah. So we do have that luxury. Yeah. And the that. fish eat it. Yeah, but I can't take a dump truck of shit down to the bay and just let it sit. A dump truck yeah. of shit. Anyways, why the why is the coke? Why are these salmons eating all this coke? Well, it just kind of got in the water. It's not just uh, coke and benzos, so they were they were going really oh, nuts damn, over dude. there. Oh damn! Um, uh, attributed to a high degree of dilution in the tank. They could not determine fully why the fish frantically jumped around, although a reaction to cocaine cannot be ruled out. <laughs> and there's a really wonderful picture of a salmon in front, a salmon underwater in front of a mound of dry coke. So, you should aim that salmon cannon at a rehab center. I mean, there was literally an annual report titled "Salmon on Coke, Lausch on Coke," or "Lausch <laughs> La, auf Coke." Oh yeah, because this is in Germany, right? Yes, this is in Germany. It's just so 
wild. Apparently, it, it goes on to talk about other uh, drug polluted water issues. Um, 2018 it study often. found what's that? It happens all the time. Humans in nature, just water and oil, literally. We're the virus. <gasps> Nature is returning and getting really fucked up. Yeah. I mean, hey, just think back to like when the lockdowns happened and like nobody could do anything. Like nobody could go to work in LA and stuff. And then like the day after, it's like nature like took a, a like a like sigh of relief. Right. There's just a deer in the middle of the 405. Yeah. It's just this beautiful Like all the display. smog was gone and it was just blue skies. It was just crazy. Whatever. I want my gold. <laughs> well, yeah. I want my weed. Um, <laughs> and, and, no, you were oh, was good. Oh, right. That was good. So let's does, get the it gold. It doesn't matter. I get the gold. So the, pro- the problem with me right now, Lindsay, is, well, I have a lot of issues, but <laughs> all I want to talk about is The Bachelorette, and that's not what this show is. <laughs> but there's supposed to be a segment on this show where we get to talk about that, but we never integrate it. And I say supposed to be because one time I we wrote it down that I wanted to do it. The, I did, This is news to me. Well, hey, I'm outnumbered well, right now. Because so. a couple of months ago. I could get you into it. Um, when the other portion of the show aired, because there's The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, I had Ricky come on the podcast and we talked about The Bachelor and how crazy that show is. And now we're watching The Bachelorette. I had Charlotte over for dinner last night. That's we watched, right. We had, a, we had a summer salad that summer you made. Salad Delicious. One of my other friends. And we had dinner and we watched The Bachelorette. So that's probably why it's at the The, little the top reason of I bring it up is because they went on a Seattle themed date. Oh yeah, and they were like And she just they just were fish. tossing a fish back and it's forth like a fake to each other. Like it's insane cuz they like I'm, and I apologize to the audience. I know this is not the most widely uh, approachable <laughs> content, but I will put it in the, the most simple terms, which is that it is 30 or so dudes down bad who are all horny and all want to date one woman and they just hang out and it's so funny. <laughs> And the energy is so strange, and they organize these dates for the Bachelorette to go on, and yeah. they're insane. No one would ever do these things. Yeah. Like have a fake fish market set up, take out a giant bass, and throw it back and throw forth to each other. Do a salmon. fake wedding. There was a fake wedding fake last wedding. week. Yeah. What's crazy about the show is like, <laughs> it's not even that there's no like uggos and no fatsos. There's just not even any average dudes on the show. Are they all weirdos They're or something? all ripped. Well, oh. no, there are weirdos, though. One guy showed yeah. up in a cat suit. Yeah. <laughs> are and they, then, are yeah. there any dumb ones? There's, he was the virgin, right? No. Any himbos? Cat suit, like, he was like wearing a feline a cat suit onesie. or a leather? Like a cat or, onesie. It wasn't, it was like a onesie. It wasn't like a, like a Anne it Hathaway, Halle Berry. It wasn't a suit. No, it wasn't yeah. like a sex thing. Like That's a, what <laughs> I thought when I first heard it because my sister told me about it. I mean, uh, anything could be a sex f- thing. Find a picture of him in the cat suit. Okay, what was his name? Wait, so this show, the two shows are the same show? Like one is half and it's, the other, they're half of the same show? It's I don't like understand. an extended universe. You mean universe. The Bachelor and The Bachelorette? Yeah, so you have they're to watch. Two, yeah. But they, they connect to each other or they're just nope. the opposite idea? Okay, so it's the opposite idea. But what they'll do is usually well, somebody in like the top four <laughs> from each season will go on to be the next Bachelor. So the woman who's currently the Bachelorette now, she was in like the top five of the last season so, that so aired in January. So the losers of one show become the con- the main person. Yeah, of the and next usually show? it's like a fan favorite or like somebody who had a lot of favor. Yeah, with like the Reddit and stuff. It was this the cat. You should just call the show. The there Reddit. he is. <laughs> oh my god! It looks insane. It's this guy, uh, Connor B, is and Katie's the Bachelorette. So she got rid of like, him last week. Oh, that's good. When, when did she? Was he wearing like a trash bag? I don't What's think. I on? think that he was not a very good kisser or something. Oh, that it guy. It was the whiskers. Yeah. 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 There he is. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Oh, look at that! Wait, look at the one of them kissing. The one next to it. Oh, oh. this is so. This is the first episode. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, she's got cat ears on though. Yeah, he brought he, some for he her. She's a good Anyways, sport. Anyways, oh, it's god. a very funny show. Um, then there's also a third kind of bachelor show, by the way, Omar. It's called Bachelor in Paradise, where the losers, more losers. <laughs> so funny calling them losers. Yeah. Leftovers, they Leftovers. should be called. No, they're losers. Okay. From the seasons, like the two seasons that aired most recently, and then like previous seasons, they all put them in like a beach house in like Mexico and they go, do whatever, be interesting. That's the show. <laughs> it's kind of like Love Island. Wait, they're trying to, are they so, trying to get love or anything? Or yeah, they're just they're, hanging out? I mean, they're trying to see who's like, 
you know, connected with who. I think there's a thing where each week one person who isn't coupled up does have to leave or That's something. That's literally Love Island. They just I don't took remember. It, made it a bachelor spinoff. I don't remember who it is. It's like when. Uh, well, how like old is Love Island? Uh, proper old. Proper old. Proper old. It's like when they uh, when an action script comes through and the studio just goes, "Let's make it a Die Hard." Yeah. Love. Let's just make it a Die Hard movie. Throw Cloverfield on there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the Bachelor Paradox. <laughs> Cloverfield. I don't know. I just never knew how funny the show was. 2015. I was visiting my sister and she was like, "Do you want to watch this?" And I said, "Not at all. I'll get too invested." And then we watched it, and Almost sure enough, paradise. so like funny because it's like just absurd. Like okay. people are absurd. Or? It's objectively funny seeing 25 guys round a corner in like semi-casual formal wear for mm-hmm. a group date with and one, one cat suit. Yeah. One, he didn't so, keep it on. Oh, damn listen, it. Batch, uh, Love Island, 2015. So it's Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, Paradise, 2014. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, they do years differently there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly certain that, that, that in English, 2014 is a... Uh, <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> so that show is something that carries me through week to week because it's such a fun experience is what I like to call it. It's an experience to watch that it's show. It's very silly. The The Bachelorette herself came up with, unless some producers slipped her an idea, Could said, be either not, I don't knows? want you, any of you guys to jack off. What? Oh yeah, there was one whole like week where they weren't supposed to, you know. Masturbate. That's and impossible. They, but they never Yankee, said it. Wanky. They never said it. It's oh, literally they doing. Use, yeah, like other words. They even did the it. Seinfeld thing. Who's master of their domain? Which yeah. is the joke from the contest. But like, they call it was like week off wank off or so, like some week off weenie uh-oh, Can't be done. or something like that. Can't be done. The thing is, no stakes week were introduced. There was no penalty for having done so. They're saying and don't so do it. You just have all these guys, and one just goes, "I broke three times today." <laughs> <laughs> three <laughs> this times. This is prime time. This is <sighs> ABC. This is nationally broadcast. Arguably one of the most popular shows of all time. <laughs> And, and she's just like, I don't want you to jack off. And like, that's this it week. It seemed like a funny bit that, yeah. they Did not come to fruition at all. Wow. They may have, though. There was no payoff. Broke three times. I mean, the payoff is doing it. Yeah. I mean, these guys must be so horny. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can just see it on them. You're that handsome. Wait, are, they, are they like? They live together. All the all... dudes live together, and then she like stay somewhere else. Where well, right f- now they're in hotels, so they're all roomed in hotels. Usually it's in the big house in like Calabasas where they all live in there. And they yeah, I was gonna, rooms. cause I remember like the house thing, but I guess if they all got their own hotel rooms, then it's easy. I think their roommate, they're roommated up, but now there's only four guys left. Yeah. So they all have probably- if you're, crammed, if you're crammed in a house together, it's probably hard to find the privacy to- the privacy to, to jerk it. Also, usually the rope. show has world traveling. Oh, but it hasn't. But it that was one time. of the things I actually really enjoyed this is a COVID about the show. Season. Oh, yeah, how because, fun! So they're just in New Mexico. But one of the things I liked about the show was that once you get like to the halfway point, the Bachelor or the Bachelorette is like, "Pack your bags, cause we're going to space, Cabo, space, space. We're going, we're to, going space. to the moon. Yeah. Bachelorette uh, on the moon. Don't Starts jack off in space. Eight seven central. Right now. Wednesday. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so it's well, just a fun experience. It's a fun experience, yeah. and when you have a lot of hot people all cramped together in tight spaces. They might be, you know, liable to do certain things with each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes they're athletes and sometimes they're all in Tokyo and sometimes there remains a pandemic afoot and then say, (laughs) let's say, I don't know, the Olympics continue on. You've got to figure out how to keep these beautiful bastards from having sex with each other. And the answer, can I see it on the screen, is a flimsy cardboard bed made of shoeboxes. Oh my God. (laughs) <laughs> this is the Olympic solution to making <gasps> sure that, that people yeah, don't intermingle. It. Yes, this is an anti-sex bed that's been debunked. I just realized right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this article's talking about Faust. <laughs> so, okay, they got shared by a Japanese company that made these modular bed frames. Um Oh man! <laughs> so it's just—is it just supposed to be like a cheap bed? It's supposed they're to calling be calling it anti-sex bed. So on well, social now media. I'm working. Okay, well, okay, he has shorts on. Great. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close. One. So a gymnast called it fake news, and then oh my goodness, I'm actually being getting pranked. I feel like I've been. I, I, Mondo didn't mention, or I didn't hear when we were talking <laughs> last night. They prefer that they sleep alone, yeah. so alcohol sales will be banned. 
Much like the Olympic torch, Charlotte was past the the pat podcast topics. Oh my topics. god! Well, it's still such a funny because the beds are real. Like yeah. someone made them. This company called Airweave, uh, able to withstand the single weight of a single person and avoid situations beyond sports. And it's it's supposed to be made of cardboard and buckle under. Under Damn. duress, sexual the official duress. The Olympics Twitter account reposted the debunking. I can't believe I've been had live <laughs> yeah, on a podcast. You got, you got bunked. I had such a great transition too. Wasn't that segue? It was just like yeah. so it was perfect. No, I wasn't done talking about The Bachelor, but. I just felt like we had to not do an entire show about The Bachelor. <laughs> and we're like going to come back easy. to it next week, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. Just we'll like The our, Bachelor uh, does. Catch, yeah, our touch Just keeps coming back. And it'll last forever back. because then it's going to be Bachelor in Paradise. And then it's going to be a second season of The Bachelorette. Do you know there's life. two seasons this year? Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. There's well, another. How many seasons have there been? Usually. Well, what I'm saying is like usually there's The Bachelor in the, in the spring, the winter and spring. And then in the summer, the like summer, early summer is mm -hmm. The Bachelorette. And then they do Bachelor in Paradise. And then there's nothing until the next year. So they normally only do one per year. Yeah, one, one of one each round. per year. Yeah, and what but, season are they on? Well, there's like 13 seasons of Bachelorette and then maybe like 20 something seasons of yeah, The Bachelor. Yeah, they started later on Bachelorette. How long do all those marriages last? So they've been No. That one show of them has just been came on out the as air gay. for 20 years. All right. Yeah, the first season came out in like No. Well, they I might have know. doubled up a little up. bit. I feel like 2006 or so They maybe. could have doubled up. Yeah, who knows. I'm not sure. I might also have. Speaking of doubled one. up, look at this bed. Woo! Uh, they this, should have those beds in the Bachelor house. Is, the Bachelorette started in 2003. Damn. I feel like this is the kind of bed that they would put in the journalist quarters mm -hmm. for who's covering the Olympics. Do you remember uh, Sochi, uh, the Olympics, what the, the journalist accommodations were like? Kind of. Well, also, uh, I'll just say real quick that Tokyo had swore up and down that they would have no issues with virus transmission. That's not been the case. Uh, I mean, how can they promise that? Twenty-five. <laughs> I know exactly. It's they, they like banned crowds, like so that no one's allowed to attend. But you've got all these people flying in. Like it's, it's like. Oh, so is God. it? Are, they, are the Olympics happening just because it's like a sunk cost thing? They're just like, oh, we spent all this money, made all this merch and stuff. Yeah, so basically. these twenty twenty Olympics a year late. And the fact that they delayed it, like it, it also affects, I'm sure, everything down the line for them. So, and I don't think that. I think uh, Japan and specifically Tokyo are limited in their ability to cancel them. Mm. Like I feel like a lot of the governing powers from what I've read in, in Tokyo are not able to put a stop to it. So they're just putting up with it. And, and so people aren't even allowed to attend really. Uh, but I'm sure people in Japan are thrilled to have this it's just event a mess. <laughs> just it's, crammed in. It's just a mess. It's And it's always a mess. Like the, there's like, the, the hotels that the reporters stayed in in Sochi in, in the Russian Winter Olympics in 2014 was like, there was just like open sewage and pipes and like it, all the buildings were incomplete and like the walls were like, there was like exposed it was like new, wire and stuff. There was infrastructure, but it wasn't infrastructure done. infrastructure that wasn't finished. And Would so people... they're like, we can't put guests here. I know, we'll put journalists. Would people like the Olympics more if it was like always in one place? See, uh, yeah, that's like an argument with it. And it's it's weird because they don't really revisit places. I mean, they were in LA and they're coming back, but it's been oh, yeah. so long that they're going to build all new stadiums and infrastructure for it. Oh, good. Happen, and they're building, we're, like we're getting a, a better, more metro because of it. Yeah. yeah. I, I an think, actual benefit finally for these things happening. I know, it's like the one bright spot because so many people have been evicted for construction and there's yeah. going to be so much more displacement and it's just going to be like, congested to fuck it's just gonna yeah. be a disaster and the silver lining of the added public transportation I think Mondo likened it to uh, you're you're having company over so you have to clean your room in the minute before they <laughs> arrive mm -hmm. and so yes the room looks better and then you let it go shit after bag. they leave yeah exactly <laughs> so whether they keep maintain those subways is anyone's guess but it's yeah. not minutes it's um like two decades <laughs> I saw Omar on the train once. Oh yeah, I remember that story. That was Randomly. when we were on it was our way so back. so strange. We were, we were leaving that movie, right? And then you took the train and I walked home because I lived so close to, I used to live so close to downtown, but mm. I remember you told me that. I think that might be the last time I went to the Alamo too. 
Me too. Yeah, Me I was too. coming back from downtown. It's, really, it's the only time I rode the Expo line was that day. I really wanted to go to when Bo Burnham's going to have his inside at Draft House. Oh. Draft House. Draft House. But <laughs> it's um, Thursday. and This Thursday? Yeah. I don't think the ticket. Is that thing good? That inside? In, inside? Yes. Or is it just a depressed person making other people depressed? It's. I mean, it didn't make me depressed. It's kind of. I, I kind of had trouble watching it. I, I I don't know, but also it was uh it was I watched it in the nights around Last Laugh in the hotel room in Austin, oh. and so I was oh. uh, emotionally bankrupt. Oh yeah. Uh, so <laughs> maybe I'm not the right person to weigh in. It, it had some good parts. It has some funny stuff, and the music is genuinely very good. Uh, for me personally, it was a little hard to watch someone in deep quarantine stuck in there af- j- right after it had just started to loosen up. So like it kind of mentally took me back to a place that. Uh, and for anyone who's not clear, this is Bo Burnham's n- newest in, uh, Netflix, Netflix special, yeah. Inside, uh, which he made from what looks to be like a guest house. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I maybe think on it his is. property. And it's 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 very uh, eclectic and uh, transparent. Like it's, it's it puts it all on display. It's honest. And it's 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 honest. Yeah, it's it's just all him, like the mm-hmm. production too. And it just took him so long to do it because of that. So. Purely as like a moment in time, I recommend checking it out. And you might also think it's very funny. I yeah. think it's not it's as good watching. as words, or not words, but I think it's not as good as what, but it's better than Make Happy, which I think I have that right. What came out and then Make Happy came out. I, this is also the only live... one I've seen. Oh. Yeah. And everyone was just talking about Well, I know that he's it. like a funny dude, like genuinely mm. funny. I, I'm sure I would like his other stand-up, but this stuff, it just seemed like a depressed person making depression a statement or something i don't know making depression i, I should watch it you should watch it yeah and you, then, might, you might your opinion might stay the same though so <laughs> i mean that doesn't mean that you know he should not watch it i'm not yeah i'm not saying it. it's I mean, bad the thing i i might be like with charlotte there like if it is uh, the reason i ask is like i don't think i'm in the right headspace to see that stuff objectively it might just fuck me up more than i need to be Mm-hmm. I would watch it in like a good headspace, maybe during the day, like having like a nice coffee or like a beer and just kind of chilling out and just like, it might make your headspace less good. Uh, <laughs> but I also watched it in well, spurts like too, because I was like, I don't think I want to watch this right now. So, I mean, I think as, as a piece of art made in a very particular time in uh, <laughs> human history and current events, I think it's So you haven't you seen what? Out. No. And you haven't seen it either, his other specials? Uh, I may have caught pieces of them. I would, sometimes, you you know, like when TV was a thing, Comedy Central would just yeah. have that shit going. Yeah. I would just watch what? So that way, you know, you just get a feel of like his style and his whatever. And then, and then if you feel like you want to watch more, you can watch Make Happy, which is his special after that. And that's okay. It's a decent special. It's got some fun songs. Um, and then you can watch inside. But I would I would watch what? What? Wish. Yeah, exactly. What? Anyways, should we Bo break Burnham for ads? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yes. We well, need an ad break. We are going to come back after these messages. Today's episode is sponsored by Upstart. If you're struck by terror just thinking about your credit card statement, you're not alone in that. Debt can be scarier than a horror movie, but luckily Upstart can help you get back on track. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt, and you can do it all online. Upstart knows we're more than just credit scores. We're people, and that's why they're expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike most other lenders, Upstart takes your education and current employment into account when considering your application so they can offer you smarter rates. Get your rate up front with an online rate check. It takes five minutes, and you can receive your funds in as fast as one business day. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash dude. That's upstart.com slash dude. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent ya. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash dude. Today's episode is sponsored by Omen. Are you sick? of all the randos sliding into your team chat whenever you and your friends are grouped up in your favorite games. Well, maybe you need your own private oasis, a paradise in the 
All right, well, we can just say it, the wasteland that online gaming is and can be. And you can have that special paradise with a free download of Oasis, the easy-to-use add-on for Omen Gaming Hub that creates a virtual room for you and up to 15 friends for private gaming and watch parties. And Oasis is not just any virtual room. It offers low latency, 720p, 30 FPS screen sharing, and seamless audio quality. So you can quit worrying about technical difficulties, stop arguing over who has the worst internet connection, and just get to play in. Get to the game. So make sure you have the Omen Gaming Hub installed, then get the Oasis add-on to build your own gaming paradise. Play together, watch together, chat together, share together, all with Oasis by Omen. Go to bit.ly slash Oasis FHP to download Oasis on the Omen Gaming Hub and try out the beta now. Summer's here, baby. You ready to unveil that beach bod or is your partner still calling you their other furry baby? Well, you're in luck because Manscaped just launched their fourth generation performance package, which includes the Lawnmower 4.0. The first time I tried to manscape, I used a razor, got some bumps, went to a doctor, showed him my junk. Turns out just because you have bumps doesn't mean you have a disease, but it does mean there's something wrong with the way that you're shaving. And thanks to the Lawnmower 4.0's cutting edge ceramic blade and advanced skin safe technology, you can cut down on grooming accidents like I had. It's also got a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multi-function on off switch with travel lock and an LED spotlight for a more precise shave. Plus, with the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, you get a ton of extra stuff, including a Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, the Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a Travel Bag to hold all your goodies. So get ready for Hot Guy Summer. Get 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code FHPOD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code FHPOD at manscaped.com. Escape the shrubs and weeds this summer and shine with Manscaped. We can okay. move on from comedy specials, but you should... What do you guys think of comedy specials in general? I... Fun, a fun thing to watch? I feel like I, that was a weird phase in my life that I am no longer in. Comedy to specials? To watch those kind of like, yeah, stand Do not specials. laugh. <laughs> no, hardly ever. I never, I never really seek up watching stand-up specials. Like I, I would rather go see I've something in really person. Mm -hmm. Of course, oh. I live in a place where that's, that's like possible. some of the best stand-up in the yeah. world yeah. exists. Um, so I, I know that's like kind of uh, the seat like, of luxury. I watch, I watch Bo Burnham's specials when they, when he has one, which is only like three times in a decade, but. I watched it's not a bad pace. the other one yeah. that I watched recently was the Dave Chappelle one. I think that was the last no, one that I watched. watched that I and that gone. was yeah. within the last year. Other than that, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I, I I used to. My dad really liked stand up. I like stand up too, but I, I never really ever sit down to watch a special. Like that's just not something. Like I'd rather watch like a scripted show. Mm -hmm. uh, and I used to not watch a lot of comedy, but lately I've 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 started watching a lot more just like half hour comedy. Mm -hmm. But no, specials are not really my thing. Do you do you like them, Omar? I know you said you aged out of it, but do you go back for nostalgia's sake? Uh, not not a ton. I just re recently started watching a lot more of the Mitch Hedberg stuff that exists from oh, far, mm, forever yeah. ago. Like, I feel like that was my heyday in that stuff, and then I haven't really connected with much of it lately. Yeah, but I want. I, I feel like I want to, but I don't know why I want to. I don't know. I don't know. I, Maybe I, you want to laugh. Yeah, <laughs> you just want to be happy. But I mean, like, I laugh at at like I I will watch the shit out of a shitty sitcom. Like even the cheesiest sitcom, I'm super down to just like turn my brain off and go yeah. go dive into. What's super cheesy sitcom for you? What does that mean? Uh, right now, because I have a I have a subscription to Paramount Plus. I've you been do? watching one called The Neighborhood that has. Has Schmidt from, oh. from New Girl oh, yes. and Cedric the Entertainer. And I it's see. like, it is as by the books as that shit can get. <laughs> really? But I, I'm still watching it because it's something just to have on. And it's it's funny at times, but it's Did, not offensive at the other times. And didn't you just go through a rewatch of New Girl, right? Were you telling me that? Yeah, I watched that like a couple oh, months ago. Man. I went yeah. through and watched it all again. New Girl's that shit, so funny. Yeah, it's way so better good. Than it's it's so good. Yeah. I, I haven't seen all of it, but I remember I was staying with a friend. I don't know if I was drinking or not. I might you have just seen been all so. Of it? I haven't. I'm, oh I got gosh. it. I'm behind on a lot of things that I'm quickly catching yeah. up on. But 
Well, I am rewatching what we do in the shadows, so I guess I'm not really plugging that. away I at really it. I really need to watch so that. So good. But I more uh, of that coming soon. That really? comes back on September second. I, I think. Yeah, the, I should catch it before comes that. Soon. It's Ted honestly, Lasso comes out this week. I, think? I still got to finish Ted Lasso. Omar put me on Ted Lasso last Booyah. year. Mondo he said put me on he Ted goes, Lasso. you need to watch Ted Lasso, and it like literally came out. You're like, yeah, I just watched it, and then I watched it, and I was like. I remember texting you and be like, this is so good. I feel so good. <laughs> it's so funny that that it's having the success it is because like that was a pre-existing Jason Sudeikis character mm-hmm. that he did oh. on like NBC Sports uh, or like. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, wow. there's like I videos the from like that, seven yeah. years ago of him playing Ted Lasso in like a short throwaway thing. It must have been NBC. I think he was with SNL at the time. So he would just be like People really borrowed by, good a, by a different. Uh, that same thing. like super positive person character. I think it was, a, I haven't seen all of them, but I think it was a lot of like the kind of like hick character talking about yeah. soccer. So I have a quick question. Is it uh, is it going to be in London again or like England again? I haven't finished the first season, oh. so I don't know what happens. Okay. We won't spoil the No end. spoilers, Anyways, please. That was part of the charm for me is that, you know, he's this American like, but, uh-huh, American uh-huh. Lasso. <laughs> and he I mean, was in England. I The trailer has all the same characters and stuff, so oh, okay. I assume. It's such Ted Lasso is going that. on I love the that. road. Um, <laughs> have you watched, now this is the TV segment. So well, listen, these are our segments. Um, have you ever watched Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? I've seen the first episode. Boo singing. <laughs> West Covina. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, gr- it's good. Omar, I think you would like that show. I, I, I did try to watch that show. I got I, I think I watched a few episodes of the first season. The singing is too much for It's me. very clearly something that's not for everyone. Mm. I uh, can't believe you're such a hater. She's Omar. great. I mean, she she pulled off a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's like all her. Yeah. She's so funny. Anyways. Uh, I was just going to say there was one scene from New Girl that made me laugh so hard I cried and Which felt one? sick. And it's... I don't even remember if I saw the whole episode, but I think <laughs> Schmidt gets overwhelmed by something. Like he finds out that his girlfriend like dated another woman they know, and he just blacks out and starts just moving his hands. And they're like, "What's he doing?" And it's like, "Oh, when he gets overwhelmed, he does the snare solo from Drumline." And then it cuts back, and he's just like, <laughs> and he's just moving his hands around with these imaginary sticks. And he, he it's just he's the so funny and so commits funny. so well. And the bit is, and the, the the joke is so out there that it destroyed me. I, I was incapable of even watching the rest of the episode because I was laughing so hard. It was. It's it's one of the still to this day one of the funniest things I've, I've seen. I've rewatched in this show. that show I think three times maybe total since like it ended, and I feel like I might be about to start my fourth. Oh, so it's just it makes me laugh every time. I might I might have to get on board with that. I'm I'm, yeah, I'm making you my need way to watch. A lot of you need to watch through. I'm still thing. making my way through. I need to do that. Watch it. I gotta watch it at all. I've never seen I mean, it. I mean, those characters pay off like like really very well. few other shows yeah. can pull off. Yeah. Well, we can't talk about Lost, and I feel like that's where any of these conversations are because <laughs> yeah. Lost comes up way too much At in the our bottom content. of the spiral It really lost. does. <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely partially to blame for that because I have the Lost box set. The lost. Well, lost. The, the one video I edited that I went heavy on the Lost, like overlays and jokes and stuff, was because John was uh, getting Oh, he uh, was rewatching from, it. He was getting heat from Patrick because Patrick likes to find out something – that someone loves and then just step yeah. on it until mm-hmm. they feel yeah. pain. Like friends. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if we want to keep talking TV and also video games, might I interest you in Nickelodeon's new 20 years too late Smash Bros competitor? Yeah. What? Did you not you see seen this? No. You haven't heard of this? You haven't seen this? Yeah. Is it like What's Nickelodeon it characters? I think in, it's called mm-hmm. and All-Star like Brawl. Game? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Nickelodeon's All-Star Brawl is exactly what you think it is. It is your favorite Nickelodeon Is there characters. a picture? I can, I'm going to put the, the trailer on mute on the screen. Oh, yeah, I want to see that. Are there all real Monsters characters? I mean, there better be. Uh, there possibly. has to be. Is, this, is that the same name that the PlayStation one? Played? No, that's PlayStation All-Stars. Just All-Stars this is All-Stars Brawl. Okay, we Why got Ninja so Turtles. This? Yeah. We got, Wait. Uh, oh... I remember that. Is, yeah, so it's, oh my it's, God. it's a Smash Bros. kind of game. Powder, Powder Toast Band, Sandy. Yep. 
Come on, where's the uh, real monsters? Sandy Cheeks. Where is We've it? We've got uh, other, your other favorites. So Patrick, he's Ninja the Turtles, the is, is that Paramount property? <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, it must be. It's Oblita. Yeah, oh, it's Oblita. You can be uh, yeah. Nigel where's, Thornberry, which everyone calls Patrick. Yeah, because he has a mustache. Because he has a mustache. <laughs> where's, uh, is it, what's the other characters? Crunk or something? What's the, the Crumb. one? I think it was Crumb. Crumb. He's the one that From has like show? he holds his hands. Our real monsters. Oh, got it. Yeah, I didn't Helga have Pataki. I didn't have Nickelodeon growing up. Helga so the only one of these shows I've really <gasps> seen is SpongeBob. Yeah, I, I'm what? all about this. We, I, I was know, a like, Cartoon Network kid. So if you give me one of these with Courage, the Cowardly Dog, Dexter. Like, oh yeah, Courage is great. Oh Zim. Yeah, you can see. You, got, you can have Zim beating the shit out of Danny Phantom. This is this is great. Feels like Tumblr fanfic. I, I might need this confirmed, but I heard that there's no voice lines. Ooh. Oh, what? That seems like a deal so breaker. Yeah. Because you got all these classic characters that probably don't say anything. So I might need that confirmed by somebody. No, I don't know. I don't know if it says anything. So we're definitely going to do this in a video or stream. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Of course. Uh, it's coming out in the fall. There's no uh, full Great. release date yet. We'll start planning that now. So there's, <laughs> a, there's a single player campaign, probably much like Injustice or Smash Bros or any other fighting game with a single player mm -hmm. campaign where it up. just gives you different matchups. If it is like Injustice 2, it's really frustrating and annoying. And Superman beats the shit out of you and you say, actually, you know what? I don't like this game, but I will go work for Warner Brothers. Nicholas. I have an unopened <laughs> copy of Smash Brothers for the Switch because I'm not a Smash Ultimate, the like most recent Whatever one. Whatever the most recent one is. Yeah, that's I'm a, just not a Smash head. I, I, you know, was like in high school and in college, like we would go to my friend's basement and just play. But like, see, that's not uh, fun for me. I I, I had like fun it. with that, and 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 I'm I'm also halfway decent at it if I am playing it regularly enough. But I don't really play it now, mm -hmm. especially single player, and I don't play online Switch. So I bought it like week one and then played it for four days, and then I was like, well. I really enjoy playing Smash with people who don't play it all the time. That's my favorite way to play Smash. So you can just beat the shit out of them? No, so that everybody's kind of the same. Oh, you yeah, know? that is fun. Oh, yeah. Cause like, you know, you get people that are really serious about it. They're like, no items, no platforms. Yeah. Like, my, Isabelle's my main. Isabelle's my main. Your main what? Huh? Isabelle is my main, by the way. You think uh, you're, <laughs> you think you main Isabelle? I work here. <laughs> dun, 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 it's the TikTok. Oh, it doesn't matter. I didn't I even. Love it didn't even make sense. We should sense. do a TikTok segment. We we absolutely. I am. Should. I I haven't been doing the TikTok thing for months. I just never got into it, but I'm I'm doing it now. You're doing it, it happened. Omar, didn't you also tell me that you have habit of sometimes laying around watching TikToks? Sometimes every night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Omar, <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. It's a nightmare, but I literally, literally can't every stop. Night. Like I cannot go to bed without spending. <laughs> an hour and a half scrolling through TikTok. Yeah. I find yeah. it's got lots it's of cute. So, oh, yeah. I should add you guys that way. I can send you TikTok. Yes, so, yeah. I, so here's the thing that I don't understand about TikTok. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not logged in at all on the app. Uh huh. But, okay. But it is obviously keeping track of what I'm watching. There's definitely so, yeah. some kind of cache and or yeah, because yeah. like it it caters I do your get in loops page. of that stuff. Yeah. How do you how do you reset? Your for you page. Oh, like I feel clean like your mine, slate. Mine is in a bad place, and I need to get. If out. you're not logged in, you could probably. Well, I don't know how iPhone does it. You can probably delete the cache, in some way, right? Oh yeah, if I delete the app and come back, maybe it'll be fresh. It again. might be fresh. Although I don't know. I've I've been in stuff that I'm not logged in, and it's like, it you know, it's still there's something attached to some yeah. account somewhere. It's so hard to trace the web. Like, it's like how you move, and then like junk mail just finds you. Because yeah. they get your address and it's just all linked together. I, no I I haven't. People are always like, you got to train your algorithm to work for you. You got to make mine's it good. cater to you. Mine's and I, good, and I'm sure it is, and I'm sure mine would be better. Come but on. like, mine's great. I just like, I didn't even really get into Vine oh. too. Like, mm -hmm. I had ones that I really thought were funny, and yeah. I've, yeah, I I, I so watched Vine compilations on YouTube. Who smacks her head on a cardboard box because her dad is uh, negligent, and. Uh, just terrible. Yeah. That's what I'm taking do you, away. Do you do the not interested thing often, Lindsay? Do you actually? Um, like sometimes if it's like, oh, I don't want this fucking up my feed, then oh, yeah. If I get something, I'll just close the, see my, what I do in my free time is go on Instagram stories. And when I, I get, too, when so I get I, an ad. I get stuck in oh, reels. I'll By do the it, way, yeah. this I is just, a salad I just go I made through stories constantly. Last night, Omar, you should try it. It's a, it's a. <laughs> it was really good. I just. <laughs> 
<laughs> go on, go on. It's a couscous, grilled corn, grilled cherry, corn tomato, cherry tomato, mozzarella, mozzarella and avocado, avocado. Yeah. with a balsamic vinaigrette with a little bit of Italian seasoning. Bring it home. What'd you put on the Should side? Make it. it was this. Sweet potatoes. You did that from TikTok? Yeah, I get a lot of recipes from TikTok. Oh, I but should I can look send for more you of those. this. You should make this. Yeah, send me, this send me some like of those. A, like a real pain in the ass to translate into real life. Well, there's <laughs> she had a link to her like blog too that has the recipe. But well, because it's this usually isn't it's pretty work, easy. But because it's TikTok, you gotta eat it vertically. Standing. You said in, this in isn't gonna work. What's that? You have to do it within a minute too. You have to do it within a minute. Yeah. Standing. No, they have three minute TikToks now. What? Man, I just TikTok, got here. TikTok. We're doing all my favorite <laughs> segments. We did Bachelorette, Bachelorette we're doing we TV, TikTok, and now we TV. have TikTok. Yeah. yeah, I would arguably a couple of those are very similar. <laughs> yeah, like it, <laughs> it's like starting starting out like doing just like nonstop TikTok scrolling. It mostly sucked for a little while, but I think it's slowly getting to the point where it's all just animal I just let for it, me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I bet you've got that's a really tender. pleasant feed. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just well, like I'll nonstop just cute animals. You guys, TikTok. My, mine is mine's easy, and the fact that it hasn't gotten it yet, it should be cool. Hot girls playing rock instruments and skate videos and fucked up little dogs, and that's all I need in oh, this life. Oh, I love fucked up, up little dogs. dogs. Fucked up little dogs. Like uh, there's one that I, I I don't remember its name, but it goes like. Ella, Ella. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see bark. the one that goes I <laughs> know, <laughs> but see this is what I do. I don't go on TikTok. I just let like Lindsay and my other friends just send me the, the uh -huh. overflow that ends up on my Twitter timeline. Yeah. Um I lose a lot of sleep over these damn TikToks. These <laughs> just thinking yeah. about them. Yeah, no, I look at them until I, I start falling asleep. And yeah. I would just I would just rather TikTok put on like a YouTube segment. video. I've been watching some like yeah. visual effects breakdown stuff and like That's why I need, to, I need the Steam Deck to come out so I can start falling asleep so with you, that. You can instead. drop it on your face and <laughs> so knock can, yourself so out for knock seven my, hours. I can knock my teeth yeah. out with it. <laughs> that, that is a funny dog. That oh. see, that's a fucked up little dog. And if you sent that to me, <laughs> I would really like that. <laughs> okay. I don't think the mic picked it. It's just a dog. Going. No, but I saw I could see. Lindsay it on the made camera. the sound. Lindsay yeah. made the sound. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's the TikTok segment. Guess what, guys? We're going to bring the moon real down. Yes, okay. let's, let's do it. Let's talk about let's it. Let's plummet to let's the abyss. Let's finish it out because I feel like we're, we're, we're coming around the mountain here uh, with some gamers being gamers. Vertigear, a company that makes gamer chairs, uh -huh. have, have sit, uh -huh. sat high up in their gamer throne and said loudly and proudly, <laughs> we hate women. <laughs> uh, they uh, is discovered have a uh, actually a pretty um, history that goes back pretty far of them just tweeting just dumb weird misogynistic bullshit that you would expect to see in like just the depths of Reddit. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the most gamer thing about the company. Uh, they you know it's all stuff about like uh, women uh, will get like a gaming PC and just use it for Facebook and it's like where are you getting your memes? 2014? <laughs> yeah. What are you Facebook? What are you talking about? Women think they can nerd. make a sandwich with their PC. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tim oh, turns in his, to his favorite head. streamer. Her turns off the Wi-Fi, and this is from the, a verified chair company. Yeah. I hate everything so much. <laughs> I hate it all. Hashtag Toxic Girl One Hundred and One. So they got <laughs> like uh, kind of blown up. I it was yesterday or maybe this weekend because there was like a meme that they posted, right? Like with the um, the guy who has the small webcam and the gameplay is big, and then the girl. Do you have that picture? The one that I'm yes, familiar I with, this and then meme. the girl has you are her familiar? camera. I am with the times. Wow, and it's big. And then there's like I a small TikTok. gameplay. Yeah, if we want to show it, this and is it. This is the difference. Because you know, maybe oh, yeah. like this, and it's just a little kind of like picture in picture of this fella streaming in a muscle tank uh -huh. in uh, the dark. So clearly, what you want. Yeah, and is then females, it's like emoji? a whole video of. Her, yeah, what does it say? Is this accurate? Three crying emojis. And then hers is like mostly video of her and then Memezilla. the strangest positioning of gameplay in the bottom right. It's, it's like, this does exist, but there's also dudes who do this too. So it's like not, I think, as, as if, specific thing. Yeah, but it's you just know. like, where are the, memezilla, this was, pro, this was posted two days ago. Yeah. In 2021. <laughs> Vertigear. Like they're not even <laughs> making fun of it. Like there's clearly like clearly the person is just the kind of person that this really tickles them. And Spread I say social. person because if we are going to take the company on its face, on its face and 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 believe their lengthy apology, 
Oh. Ooh, I want to see the apology. Uh, I'll, it's like, I'll, I'll read it off parts for yeah. you. Because it's more about sealed. I like how apologies look on Twitter. There's some tweets of theirs that are uh, flagrantly uh, ableist. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, oh, yeah. The, the notes app? Yeah. Or twit longer? It's like, here's a picture of my giant yeah. apology. Uh, so the, the the starts off with dear Verdi Gear fans. Whoa! Yeah, dear fans of a chair company. What are you talking about? This is like the this is the worst shit. It's not like a brand account for like a show or a game or like a sh- or 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 a show. There's only two things in my brain, and it's those. It's a chair company, and they've posted this whole thing. These are, of course, the actions of an individual. Uh, which like. These memes and this lesson feel like they could have been learned in 2011. Social media is a huge, huge industry and a huge, huge part of every company's corporate strategy for selling products or shows or games or shows. Once again, the only things I know about. But like, I didn't even read this because it looks like bullshit. Oh yes, casual sexism is very interesting and fun. I know all these people in this reply thread here. No wait, I don't know the middle one. I know that's just a reply. David Jones. Reply. Yeah. Oh, well, you shouldn't see his locker. This is just a reply person named Davy jo- It doesn't matter. It's Anyways. just, you know, pirate stuff. It doesn't. Hashtag pirate stuff. Hashtag pirate stuff. Hashtag toxic pirate 101. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. uh, if you have any constructive feedback on how we can improve or yeah. what we should be doing Don't better, be feel free to know us. Let us know. It's just like, I th- we think we did something wrong, but we're not like totally sure. So if Don't you could just ignorant. like drop us a DM. It's so, it's like. Well, you said the tweets go back. Like, there's, this is not the, the first time. The tweets go back, and there is stuff that is like them. really like like slurs. And oh, yeah. Like, I think I saw one of them, and I and was like, like, yikes, a company tweeted this once. People can look on their own, they can, they can see those. They just gotta do Anyways, a little bit of scrolling. We won't be uh, buying their chair or even taking it for free. Yeah, they like, they said some like ableist shit, and then someone like responded, and they were like, uh, I've been partnered with you for years and like yeah. have, you know, certain disabilities that are part of who I am and, and my content. And they were like, and I'm I'm not gonna I'm not, I'm gone. Yeah. I'm not doing this with you anymore. Yeah. Listen, we fired the person who tweeted that. So we're good, right? Yeah, right. We definitely <laughs> shuffled them around to a B apology writer. <laughs> <laughs> we had them type out their apology yeah. on the notes app. Yeah, now say what you did wrong. I think yeah. there's like um McDonald's grease from like the McGang. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, what probably. is this? Anyways. Do you think the, the racer chair thing fad is going to die? Oh, like the gamer chair thing? No. Gamer, like, but I mean, it's they're been all based for, like, on. seven years. They're all based on fucking like tuner car car chairs. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's Thrustmaster. That's a manufacturer and that's pretty funny. Don't they make so. like the. They do like yes. the throttles and stuff. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's like, probably like actual racing game Sims. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I've never sat in a chair like that and thought this is very comfortable. I'm I sure there are one ones. for like three years. What you, here, what are your thoughts? <laughs> um, it's very straight back. Are you a misogynist yeah, now? I don't like. You that. know what? <laughs> you got me. You know what? This is what gamer chairs have done to me. Boy, my lower back hurts, and I wish I could get a damn sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like just oh, like boy. just a nice ergonomic office chair that's oh. meant to be good for my yeah, spine. They're not, they're not ergonomic at all. And yeah. You know, and like the, it's the like a right angle. Had, the bottom, like you can't sit on them for very long without your ass hurting. It, yeah. I need a chair. I need a new chair. And then you got to peel yourself off of it at the end of the day. I oh, bought a chair yeah. at the beginning of quarantine. And um, so now the seat's all ripped up and the right arm broke off. So it leans back one way. So usually if I'm like <laughs> sitting at my desk and leaning back, I'm just like leaning, I'm sitting like this. I'm trying to like just chill, but so I, I gotta get I gotta get a new chair. Uneven my editing posture is the way I have like one arm sit back on the mouse is like totally because I have oh, yeah. one reaching forward towards the keys and the other one just kind of hanging back. Oh, in that's the terrible! You need to put your mouse like up here. But I don't. Yeah, yeah. and I that's how I was before because my I my, my I have old one desk. little T Rex arm. Turn the keyboard. Because I'm in a, I'm in a new a place now and I made a bigger desk. Gaming. It's I've got like Anyways. a corner desk now. Well, we we can continue amazing. this conversation perhaps off air. Omar, where are we on time? I think we're ready to go. Because we can talk about the Emmy nominations. Uh, we're at like just over an hour. All right. Well, let's let's talk real quick about this. Well, let's go well, off I think the we chairs. We have to be off by nine in nine minutes too. Right? What's the Emmy? We're just over an hour. Then we can be good. I, f- I feel like. I... Well, I meant like off the stream. At well, you can be off the stream. No, because something else comes on. No, I want to keep going for five hours. 
You want to talk about The Bachelorette for five hours? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if we're just is over. Is it going to be an Emmys or is it going to be like the Golden Globes that they did this year and the Oscars? Uh, yeah. Am like I going to watch it? Probably not. Time. It's like a couple people sitting in a room like this big. Bando's got some noms. What? Mandalorian. Lee, Lee, Lee. Oh, Mandalorian. Disney, Disney came out. I prefer the Emmys out of the over game. the Oscars because I'm a, I'm more of a TV head than I am mm. a film you head. You do love TV, yeah. Mm. Uh, for drama series, uh, noms were The Boys, Bridgerton, The Crown, Handmaid's Tale, Lovecraft, Country, Mandalorian, Pose, and This Is Us. I gotta watch Pose. I'm hearing oh my God, so many I've good seen like all it. of these except for. So I haven't mm-hmm. seen, I haven't seen the most recent two Handmaid's Tale seasons, I think, and I haven't seen Pose. But all these other shows I've watched. Wow. I've so only watched Lovecraft Country count country County? yeah country, uh, country. Uh, it got nominated for a bunch of shit but got canceled yeah they canceled yeah, it yeah like yeah, I was not gonna after get a one season, season. Mm-hmm. I watched the boys Lovecraft Country and the Mandalorian I really enjoyed it. the boys I did too I like this more than the last, than the first season yeah it was, sure. it was very good everyone in it was really funny yeah. and the the resolution is one of the best like season finales I think I've seen in a while yeah. Cause like it's still get it's like it it satires the genre, but it is like also like it is still a superhero. Yeah, there's still so we're a story. Gonna give, we're gonna there. give you the payoff like like it is one. They got Jensen Ackles in the next. However, season. in the comedy series section, I think I'm lacking. I've only seen Ted Lasso. So why don't you give me like the dog sound that where it howls when you have seen a show? <laughs> okay, and I'm just oh. gonna list through them: Blackish, Cobra Kai, Emily in Paris, Hacks, I haven't seen any The Flight either. Attendant, Kaminsky Method, Pen Fifteen. Ted Lasso. Oh, there it is. <laughs> really, it's just Ted Lasso. I didn't hear you. Uh, Lindsay, you would like Pen15, and I think you would like Hacks as a lot. Hacks sure is actually really good. I do want to watch them. I do need to watch all the TV Hacks so I can on HBO Max. Judge yeah. them. On HBO Max. I'm, I'm terrible I forget what her name TV. is, the, the main lady. She's She's been in a bunch of shit recently. She like, was in uh, Legion, right? Yeah, she was in she's Legion. So she was in Fargo, in I think, too. And like, Fargo, yeah. yeah Fargo season two. I think, uh, I think that dude likes her a lot, but she's in a bunch of shit. She was in Mayor of Easttown, too. Like, she's awesome. She's having like a resurgence. It's amazing. Cool. I think I passed over the bridge where that girl's body was found in the show. I want to watch in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Mayor of so. Easttown as well. I Are going to start a, uh, yeah. a dead girl tour in Pennsylvania? <laughs> Almost that certainly, that yeah. And, and it will be it will bring so much shame to the area. It's like the Pablo Escobar art tour. Uh, Pablo Escobar tours that the people of Medellin yeah. and are just like, can you please, please stop? <laughs> <laughs> Queen's Gambit was great as well. I need to watch that. That yeah, was I, good. I need to catch up on so much TV. Is there more on the bottom of this? There's list? so much more. Oh, my God. TV. There's TV. There's a TV movie. TV movie? Uh, one. Uncle Frank kind of sucked. WandaVision. I, I didn't see any of these. WandaVision, yeah, I saw There's so many. It's so funny how there's like so many lim- like distinctions now because TV doesn't is not at all what it used to be. Yeah. And it's the lines are voice of this TV movie, limited series, comedy, and dramedy. Yeah. Uh, lead actress in a comedy, lead actor in a yeah, drama. A there are so movies. many categories. <laughs> it's just a lot. Jason Sudeikis is nominated. I mean, I feel like wait. This is an overload, and I feel like I'm going to have a stroke now. Where do you want me to go? <laughs> Keenan Thompson, Keenan? Was there a comedy series? Yeah, I think so. Keenan? I, I don't think it was on my mm. radar. Shameless I hope is it still going. Actually, this last season already aired, didn't it? Of Shameless? Yeah, the, the last season ended a couple months ago. Is that yeah. show good? It was. I don't I think liked, it ended well. I liked the first like two seasons that I watched, and then I think I tried to watch more, but then I just like was like, oh. Such a it got it got real samey. Slot. I think once they like lost track of what that like that show turned into a let's just drag it out as long as we can thing, and then it started getting bad. Yeah, and it's weird that that dude was so popular leading up to that show, and then disappeared from all other media just to be that one character for a, eleven seasons or whatever. William H Macy. William H Macy. Yeah. Well, he he had to deal with that whole admission scandal. Oh yeah, he was part of that. Oh, was he part of that too? Yeah, his wife went to Ooh, went fun. to jail for a couple of years, I think. Yikes. Which is, is you know, it feels like Who's something. Who's his wife? Uh, I can't remember her name. I can't remember either. The the wait, isn't like Aunt Becky or whatever? Wasn't that the lady? Yeah, but not that was not his wife. His wife is, I think it's Laura. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Felicity Huffman. Felicity Huffman. That's what I wanted to say, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, she got she got charged, I think. Uh, he did not. It feels like something that would happen in a Coen Brothers movie. That's quite a couple. Yeah, he's he's a goofy looking de- guy, but I, I I love William H Macy. Yeah. Love Jurassic Park three. Oh oh that. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what we can talk about real real quick before we get out of here is um, as far as the Emmys go, 
uh, Don Cheadle is among those confused by his nomination for guest actor in a drama series for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, I think he I says thought you were like say Space Jam. No, no. I uh, <laughs> oh, I was going to talk about that, but we were going to have someone else on who'd yeah. already seen it, so I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I will give you my quick review. It's not a good movie. Uh, so much, many apologies to Warner Brothers. And, and I don't care if people say it's for kids. It does not respect children. There are good children's movies. There are good children's movies. <laughs> Paddington, Penguins of Madagascar, scores of other are actually very smart and do have references to stuff for the adults because that's tried and true classic mm. kid show formula. But Space Jam does not respect children. <laughs> and that's, that's all I'll say about that. But... And Donald Cheadle had a great time, though. He was the best part of the movie. Yeah. Uh, but he anyway, got an, an, an Emmy nomination, and he he tweeted or said something in an interview along the lines of, I don't get it. He's barely in it. He's the, barely he, in it, right? I haven't scene, seen it. says, like, a couple things. Who? Don Cheadle in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh, yeah. Which, like, it, like I like seeing him. It to, like, but... equality and social justice, too, right? Uh-huh. Someone told me that that particular conversation, which I don't may remember. have led, to, I haven't seen the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm really, I'm really out of my element right yeah. now. Yeah, I remember it being like a fine scene, like the like the dialogue was good and stuff. I but. don't know. He's like, but he's in there with like Timothy Oliphant and Carl Weathers from The Mandalorian, who are, I would say, huge characters. Timothy Oliphant had an yeah, entire like, episode. Yeah, um, which played into the story. So, hey, you know, I guess I don't know really what Academy, but must have been. Must have been some incredible four-year consideration billboards <laughs> with Don Cheadle's face on them somewhere around here, which is a uh, LA. There's you get billboards for. Please consider our show for Emmy mm-hmm. nominations, which See is the billboards on the way here all the time for that show. Everywhere. The um, one with Dan Radcliffe. Oh, uh, Miracle Workers. Yeah, Miracle Workers. I should check that out. I know. I should too. Also in the Warner Media family. Hey. Anyways, a big thank you to Turner Broadcasting. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry what I we, said about we Space Jam. We covered a lot on this podcast. We, we yeah. did. We did cover a lot. And we Covered hit some of ground. Lindsay's favorites. So this will be the Lindsay one. The <laughs> one where Lindsay. The one where Lindsay wins. Yeah. The one where Lindsay wins. Tune uh, in next week for more Bachelor Tune recaps. in next week and uh, we'll just, uh, Mondo will try to wrestle the format away from talking <laughs> about TikTok algorithms and we will say no defiantly. He's going to uh, come on here and be funny and stuff. We're all going to be sitting here with our heads down at the beginning. <laughs> Mondo's going to be like, all right. I got this back under control. A, yeah, I just finished. He's going to finish listening to it on air and he's going to go, Bo, are you happy? <laughs> are you happy with yourself? I'm proud of what you did. Proud of what you did. And then I'll just yeah. go. You're going to do a squeak in the chair and he'll oh, go, you ruined all my good work. Can you that's, hear that? Well, probably now. That's yeah. Lindsay squeaking on the leather, pleather seats of the podcast yeah. set. The whole time. Anyway. <laughs> That's our show. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely week. And Steam, if you announce something else once this drops or before this drops, you can go to hell and stay there. Beep, 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 beep.